Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about a big question today, and that is, when is the Premier League Tots guaranteed SBC going to come? Is it going to come? And when can we buy our teams related to this week in this market with Premier League Tots rewards coming out on Thursday? I think that's really going to pick up the market a lot. Last year, we had a lot of market movements that looked like they might repeat themselves this year. I also want to talk about prices related to that midfielder icon pack. And, of course, the Saudi League Tots that is out. And, of course, maybe even the Saudi League Team of the Season Guaranteed Pack that could be coming out today on Tuesday. That's kind of been the schedule. And since that one's already in the code, I think we expect it. But a lot of people are looking towards Premier League Team of the Season cards. And they're saying, hey, when are we going to get a Guaranteed Tots Pack for cards like this because as of right now it has not been added to the code but I think there is still a chance that it is going to get added in because last year EA did things kind of last minute and I want to talk about that and also I think when that Prem Tots guaranteed pack does get released that's going to create some selling and some panic and create a huge buying window and buying opportunity for out of pack special cards and maybe even some icons on this game. I want to talk about that and all the market movements that you could be seeing this week, kind of like a when to buy your team video as well, because I know a lot of you guys are really, really looking to buy some cards for your team, whether it is a um, player from team of the season, we'll talk about that, or maybe a player from out of pack specials that is, you know, a, a link investment for upcoming La Liga team of the season, which is the next squad up. Um, maybe a, a link investment for Premier League out of pack specials, or maybe just somebody that you want to get in your squad. But uh, we did have, of course, we'll drop it back yesterday for a second, talking about the new stuff that was added. We had this Saudi League tots, only 11 players, and, you know, only four of these players are over 50,000 coins. Two of them are extinct. They're not going to be extinct for much longer because unlike Buendia, I really don't know if those these guys like Romarino and, and Benega really have that much hype, um, especially because they had, like, no tradable supply yesterday. There were no tradable supply SBCs put out, and today we could see the guaranteed Saudi League Tots SPC, that pack is in the code. Pro you know, if it costs more than an 83 rated squad, it's not worth touching. But I do think that if it's an 82 or an 83 rated squad, you've seen fodder go up, of course, with that 84 plus player pick that was released yesterday and the icon midfielder SBC. But I think that some of the 82s and 83s, just like last week, 82s went to like 2.2, 2.3K, and 83s shot up as well. If you're somebody who's holding on to those cards, I think they go up further today. If you want to try to invest, good luck. I'm really not into that too much since it's already up. Um, but of course, all rares right now are like 1,000 coins. So basically, these 82s are quote-unquote discard, if you will, because right now with everybody doing upgrade packs, rare golds on the market are selling for around 1,000 to 1,200 coins. So that's actually not that bad of a low-risk investment if you really want to try that out today. I think there will be some hype for a Saudi league guaranteed because people are obviously going to want to try to get Benega and Romarino, even Gomis. They might want to try out because, of course, a French striker with those stats, you know, people might try them out. But that's one thing I do think you can expect from today. Now, of course, as we saw, like the index 84 went up a decent amount because of that 84 plus player pick. I did mine, got nothing good. I've been starting to craft SBCs and I've dumped about 250K into SBCs so far. Upgrade packs, no team of the season for me. But I'm not worried because last Last year, Thursday is when it really, really heated up for me. So I'm kind of counting on that to bounce back again. But we did get that midfielder icon upgrade was released yesterday. Now, some people are getting really, really good stuff from this, but I think it's overpriced. 84, 85, 86, 87, it's coming in at like 500,000 coins to do. And there's so many midfielder icons in that even our primer moments that are under 500k, it's it's ridiculous. So for me, I'm only going to be doing that SBC if I get some really high rated fodder and I can end up crafting that with upgrade packs. I really don't feel like it's worth doing in my opinion. But let's transition into talking about guaranteed team of the season Premier League SBC because that is what everybody wants to know. Is it coming? Now, in my opinion, I was looking back and doing some research on last year. I think this SBC is coming out today. Not today. Sorry. Sorry. Hold up. Saudi League Tots coming today, most likely. Kind of the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame as they did last week. Maybe Tuesday, Thursday for this week with the Prem. But I do think that we will get a team of the season Premier League SBC guaranteed coming out on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Now, last year, and I want to show you last year. This is the video that I recorded the day after that happened, showing what happened with some of the price drops. This SBC last year was an 88-rated squad with one team of the season required 
for that SBC, you can tell I was looking at this um, Vinicius card here. The Shapeshifters Vinicius went from 380,000 coins down to about 300k and then rebounded. I made tons of coins last year buying. I literally went broke when that stuff dropped. When the SBC dropped, there were so many cards that people went out on the market and they sold because they needed the coins to go do um, that Premier League Tots guaranteed SBC. Now, of course, we knew that it was kind of coming because it was added into the pack code on Tuesday. And that's why I'm making this video today is because I do think that today on Tuesday could be a day where EA update the pack code again, just like last year. Now, some people also mentioned to me that the um, guaranteed Tots SBC for the community team of the season was never added to the code. Um, and it was still released. So that's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure we saw the guaranteed, uh, that community tots guaranteed was in the code at some, uh, some point. But if they do add a guaranteed Premier League SBC to the code, I think that would be either today or later tonight into tomorrow for a potential drop on Wednesday or Thursday. I don't think they're going to pass up that opportunity. I see no reason why they would not release that SBC. So I just wanted to show you this graph because this kind of paints the picture here, right? This kind of shows you what's going to happen. I think this will happen again because people are who are not expecting the SBC like this, some casuals, right? They're going to take some of the players that they have bought for their teams already that they are holding, maybe some TOTS cards that they're trying out, and, and they're going to go out and they're going to sell them off. And I think that's going to be the best time. If and when that happens, that will be the best time to buy some cards for your team if they are out of pack specials. You're going to see a really, probably a pretty massive drop right away when that SBC comes out because everybody is into that SBC because, I mean, if that SBC is even three, 400,000 coins, you're going to take your shot, right? You're going to take a shot. Yeah, you might get Sushek or Ederson, but you could get Bruno, Sun, Salah, Rashford, De Bruyne. So you're going to take your shot at that SBC. People are going to be doing it 100%. It's going to be a lot of fun when it comes out, but also... It's going to cause the market to move a lot because that's an SBC with a lot of hype that's also not going to be that cheap. Probably 300 to 400,000 coins, most likely, in my opinion, is where that SBC would be priced. And that's going to, you know, make some people have to sell some cards from their teams to do it. So that's, I think, going to be the best time to buy your team because there is going to be some panic selling. And again, if I would show you the video that I posted last year, a day after this, I was selling these Vinicius cards back over 400,000 coins on the weekend because La Liga Tots came out. So one thing I would do 100% over the next two days is start to scope out what cards you might want for your team. You know, this guy like Lucas is already up a lot from where he was. He was like 550 two weeks ago. He was almost 800,000 coins this last weekend during Prem Tots. I would really focus on your Prem out of pack special cards again and start looking at La Liga. La Liga and Prem out of pack specials are where I would look the most. Of course, La Liga is coming this weekend. If you want to risk it with that a little bit, people start investing in some of the meta cards, but also just look at really popular cards that people use all the time in this game. Now, we saw some market movements earlier yesterday because of the Icon midfielder pack that came out, and this there was a round of panic that, that happened yesterday as well. I bought this Conte at 960,000 so, uh, coins, sold it at 1.04. I bought this Varane at 410. I bought the same Maximum at 300k, uh, and I bought 10. This is the move that I was talking about. I bought 10 Essians today, around 400, 380 to 400,000 coins a piece. And uh, right now he's still around 410, but I'm just kind of sitting on these Essians because I know that this midfielder icon pack that did come out, it crashed a lot of the midfielders in this game. A lot of people sold off their midfielders. Um, you know, I bought this Mertens for 400,000 coins, 399 and 400K. There was some panic selling on areas of the market that were not midfielders today. So I took advantage of that and said, hey, I'm going to buy these cards up and, and flip them when, of course, people go to buy them back after they were selling them to do the SBC. So if you, any of your icons that are down today, like I was watching Moments Seedorf. Moments Seedorf was like a 550K card this past weekend. He was down to 460,000 coins. He's back up over 500K now. So there were massive fluctuations. I mean, Baby Cantona was like 650,000 coins. And I think right now he's back up to 700K, right? 699 a bid there, 697 buy it now. So this card rebounded back up a little bit. I think this stuff's going to continue to bounce back because, yeah, people might do the SBC at rewards, but we're getting so many coins on the market later on this week that if you want to buy some stuff for your team, if there isn't a guaranteed Premier League SBC that comes out, the buy time for your teams is probably going to be in the next day 
or two, depending on what content comes out. But I really feel like that guaranteed Prem SBC is going to drop and that's going to create an awesome opportunity to get in on some panic selling and get in on some price drops. Because even for these Prem Tots cards, the moment that SBC drops, people are going to be, these cards might be their cheapest, like in the next 24 to 36 hours, because when an SBC drops, people don't pack who they want. They go out and they buy the player. They don't even rate, wait for rewards anymore. We saw this last week with community. Those Todd's cards really didn't go down with the reward supply. They literally just went up and there's more coins on the market, putting on the market this week with these cards being in foot champions rewards for the top tier player base of this game. A lot of stuff is really going to go up and we're going to continue to talk about that through this week. But I really think Wednesday is our big day if that guaranteed Prem Tots does come. Now, if it doesn't, whatever content we get today, if there's any sort of drop off like there was yesterday with the Icon Midfielders pack coming out and some of the stuff dropping, I think these cards are going to shoot up. Now, if we by Thursday don't get a guaranteed Prem Tots, then I think you're going to see the cards boom up after rewards. There might be a little bit of panic heading into 6 p.m. if we know the SBC is coming. But then after that, it's probably just to the moon again because, again, there's so many coins going to be coming on this market um, later this week. So I would seriously start to scope out, right? Maybe you want a card that's from a pre the Premier League in your team. Um, like this same Maximum still, that freeze card that's down a little bit from where he was. Maybe you want this Rashford version, 477, right? Maybe you, you try to snag him at like 430, possibly if there is panic. I just remember this last year, there was so much panic on out-of-pack specials for a very, very short time period, very short window. When that TOTS SBC was released, it was literally like 30 to 45 minutes after that SBC was released. And then after that stuff went bananas, right? Because people started buying stuff back and we saw prices really rebound very well. Um, especially on some of the really, really rare cards like foot birthdays. This Raheem the Dream Sterling is super mega rare, right? And he's got the in-game. Uh, people love this card in-game. He's 1.05. He was selling at 1.2 on the weekend. And even, even yesterday, with the midfielder icon pack coming out, this guy was down to a million coins flat. He's up about 100K since then. So stuff like this on these really rare cards, even Awar. Awar was 600,000 coins, and he's bounced back to, I believe, like 640, right? 650 maybe for Awar. Not even related to League One team of the season. This is just a meta French card that a lot of people like to use. So I would definitely keep my eyes out on this sort of stuff. I really think that Wednesday time frame is your buy time, unless, of course, EA Sports don't end up releasing a guaranteed uh, TOTS Premier League SBC, which I think would be really dumb of them not to. But uh, let's talk about fodder one sec, because if you know this SBC is coming, can you prepare and, and buy fodder at the prices that it's at right now? In my opinion, yeah, it's up a little bit. It's probably going to require an 87 or an 80 ra 88 rated squad again. And if you take a look at some of these cards like Koulibaly, is the cheapest 88 on the market right now at 29,000 coins. Where was this guy at Sunday? 27,000 coins, 28K. So if you guys bought this fodder like early, late Sunday night, I mean, maybe even during lightning rounds on Friday, you're already starting to see these prices go up a little bit with the SBCs that are out. People are doing upgrade packs, and that means they're crafting guys like Bale, like Icon SBCs, like Icon Player SBCs, and they're going to have to go out and buy some of that SBC fodder to complete those SBCs. That's just increasing demand for SBC players on this game. So I think this stuff is going to continue to go up in price, and if we do see a guaranteed Premier League TOTS pack added to the code, that is going to make this stuff go up even more. Now, again, as of right now, the only stuff that we have have had added to the code is the new season TIFOs and whatever this stuff is that is added for the new season that's coming on Friday. So that's one thing that's coming this Friday. Obviously not right now. Nothing yet from Footwatch related to a guaranteed Premier League TOTS pack. But when that does come, of course, you're going to see a lot of people talking about it. That's going to be big news. So, that is one thing I would say is just be careful with the fodder as we're heading into that time frame. Fodder is kind of going up anyway. Um, but if you feel like some of these, these meta cards are up a little bit, right? Awar was 600K. Now he's back to 650. I think that window of panic for a Premier League Tots guaranteed is the place where you will have 
a big time window to buy some cards for your team. And of course, just invest as well in some out of pack special cards. So for me personally, I'm trying to get this tots counter up this week. I'm doing a lot of upgrade packs. I put about 250K into packs tonight, didn't get squat, but I was able to craft a little bit of Gareth Bale, did the 84 plus player pick, got nothing. And uh, we're just spamming the packs, right? Because we really want to pack these Premier League Tots cards. We will craft the Premier League Tots upgrade when that does come out as well. Um, and yeah, it's just, if you're doing these, it's a lot of people are doing using the buy it now. Like they're buying these rare golds because right now all rare golds are like 1200 coins. But in my opinion, I would really encourage you guys to get on the bids because you can win these cards, especially if you're doing hundreds of packs like I am. If you take a little bit of extra time, if you had that time to bid on these cards for 950 to 1000 coins, especially if you get some sort of tradable pack supply today. Um, I know it's a Tuesday, so I don't know what exactly we would get. Maybe a daily SBC with a decent pack. Um, there might be some tradable supply there. You know, that could push those prices down a little bit and bring some more open bids to the market. I think if you save your, yourself 50 to 100 coins every single card that you're doing, if you're turning in 11 cards per SBC, of course, for the squad, and then you're doing like 100 packs, you're saving yourself a lot of coins if you're getting those each of those cards for like 50 to 100 coins cheaper. So that's kind of what I've been doing, spending a little bit extra time just getting on the bids for that matter. And again, the way I'm crafting is I'm buying the rares, doing the Premier League premium upgrade, and then rinsing into the Premier League upgrade. Some people have said rinse into the rip player pick or even into the 81 to 87, but for me, it's all about packing blues. So I'm going to rinse into this Premier League upgrade um, and try to get myself that blue team of the season flare and not get trolled because UCLs still suck to get trolled in this game. But again, these are some overnight flips that I've had in the past 24 hours. I bought all, both these canes at 500K. You guys saw this yesterday. I sold my bombing on a very high note. He, he got up in price um, at a weird time tonight. Um, also, I have, I've had a tip from a couple other traders that have been on the market. List your cards for lazies. I mean, technically, it's a bombing. It might classify as a lazy sale. Uh, but I've had some people mention to me, and I guess even if that a bombing in, in itself was a lazy, then I've experienced too. But there's a lot of lazy selling going on right now in this market, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, um, A bombing's 825 just sitting there. This guy was like 770 yesterday. I, I just think he's really rare right now overnight. Uh, and that's the cheapest one to 900,000 coins right now. So that's kind of crazy. This a bombing is super duper rare right now in the nighttime, which is very interesting, of course. But uh, some of the stuff has rebounded up due to rarity. And again, due to coins, you know, people sell off from the weekend league and you see prices kind of start to pick back up a little bit. But I think there's still going to be more panic coming out later this week. So that's the main focus of this video today. I think it really puts into perspective if you want to buy a Premier League Tots card or if you're wanting to buy anything for your team, there could be another window of panic coming. So just be prepared for that. Be watching out for that. But if you see a low price in general, I mean, if there's a card that you're watching for your team, like this Messi at 698, I think that's down a little bit from where he was. I know there's rumors about Messi player of the month coming, but he was like almost 800,000 coins this weekend. I mean, if you're looking at some graphs on your card, like man, Messi was between 730 and 700K. Yesterday he was 699 and boom. Now if this one sells, he's back up to like 720. So if you feel like you've kind of missed the boat, I still think there's going to be more opportunities because again, the main focus of people right now in this game is to upgrade packs. But until we get to like Wednesday, Thursday, I think price is just going to kind of either hover, maybe rebound a little bit. And then of course, when that Premier League uh, TOTS upgrade does come, I would expect prices to drop a little bit, not for a long time, but just for a short bit before they rebound again into the weekend. So that's the video for me today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.